welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Kid Michaels here, and we have just entered that uh, room of requirement, and we have decorated our office, as you can see. We've put down a nice potting table and a Christmas tree and uh, some statues and some junk on the walls. And she told us to talk to her again so that we can conjure up some other things. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. We already have a ton of it. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space mm. to your liking. Why don't you try she it on must the be walls blind. and floor? I could use a new rug. Let's look let's look at a rug. Um now oh, I don't forgot how to do it. Oh, conjure. Rugs. Medium scientific, botanical, eclectic, goth rug. Change the color. Keep it centered. We'll make it purple. putting in mirrors because this room is very small. Had you given me a bigger office, this would have not been a problem. All kinds of things in here now. Tables. change the color on that. Eh, whatever. It's fine. We still have plenty of moonstone. Touchy. Mm. We need some more chairs. Thank you. 
All right, so we have some chairs now. Revelio. All right, are we done? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. Oh. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Oh, we have to we have to put that spell on our hotbar. That one, right? We didn't get a matching set. You should be proud of all the potions you brewed. A lot of things that you can make colorful in here. Can't forget the ceiling. I 
that's pretty good. Okay. I have some questions about alteration, Professor. <clears throat> yes? Thank you, Professor. I have no more <laughs> questions. I'll be here if you need anything else. Okay, how do we get out of here? I'm done. How, how do you leave? I would like to leave now. Dobby, Deke, let's leave. I wonder how I get back to this. Oh, I have a flu flame now. So I can get there that way. Okay. What do we have in quests? Really? What if I don't want to change the size of anything? becomes a problem now, doesn't it? Excuse me. I don't like this chair. And just the size of items? Like, I don't know how you adjust the size of it. Change size. Like that. Nicely done. Right. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. All right, bye. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Which, I'd rather do something else. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. We're doing this. Ambiance, don't you think? What do you think Deke, we have? Would you mind? Of course, Professor don't Weasley. Don't you mess up my room. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke, so Deke help me. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. If you change uh, my come colors. Come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Snakes. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Love it. Oh, sounds perfect. Don't you dare change the colors in this room. I worked way too hard on that. Hmm. Quite a difference. A little bit. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Now what? Is this an expansion of our room? Is this my own private wing of Hogwarts? An 
even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. She's got a weird mouth thing. Use it wisely. Deke thinks you are doing good work here. We are doing good work, Deke. Good lord. What do you think? Well, at least I can get down this hallway. Change color. Green. Uh, this is a lot to decorate. I don't want to do this right now. I'm not doing this. I have enough stuff to do right now. All right, how do I get out of here? I've already forgotten. This way. Bye. read that it popped up way too fast all right what do we need to be working on next quests uh another flight test uh we still need to purchase that broom some simple work we're still looking for that Try to do this one, I guess. Ooh, where are we? So we need to find Sebastian. Not sure where he is. He's in the astronomy wing. That's the way. Where's the astronomy? And then he is likely closest to here. Somebody was getting ready to say something when I vanished out of there very quickly. Sebastian, a little help, please. passed out here Sebastian Sebastian it's been a while it has glad you received my owl I have something to show you just call first, me on my let cell me phone. thank you for what you did in the library of course Scribner tried to give me detention but I have ways out of these things well you took the fall for me and that counts for something did you find what you were looking for I did Something was missing. We're gonna make an alliance I'm not here. sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. I doubt that. This way. Am I following you, or? There's a secret passage just here. Well, maybe nobody will notice. Uh, 
us climbing into a clock together. Why didn't he get in with him? How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named Revelio. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister. And Chest. she loved that infernal Shit. game. Shit. I'm always dealing with full gear. Wait. Was the face mask unlocked? It was. So now this one can be destroyed. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this- Revelio! He never <sighs> confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. Sebastian, I wouldn't want to jeopardize what are we that. here for? We used to sneak in. We've never been caught. Let's put on that vest. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. Yeah, I'm just wearing no a mask. idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, gets worse. and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Olivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? Everyone knows no, that. No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts well, are full of secrets. The Muggles might not. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A Let's spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous Confringo. in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic, but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Why not? Stick to the targets, though. Confringo was this one? Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both yeah. have their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendia. Candel that's not a candelabra. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. I've been waiting for this. I need one of these in real life. Just think how easy traffic would be. That's 
this is. I think I've got it. Confringo! Well done. Is this why I can't be trusted? What's all this? Repair it. Repairer. Eh, whatever. All right, I blew up everything. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. You got that right. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. Yes. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Yeah, we'll see. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. You must promise to keep we this between got us. To build I trusted our relationship you with knowledge with of the secret undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> what does that even mean? Means I'm Honestly, I'm not wizard. entirely certain. You All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Yes. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Okay. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. All right. You know, that's actually a good place to stop this time. When we come back next time, we will continue this quest and see where it leads us. I'll see you then. Hey guys, I've always got more content for you to watch. Just check out my latest video over there on the left or what YouTube thinks you should watch next. Don't forget, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button and hit like to let me know that you care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.